How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio. Today, I'm going to show you how to track text or maybe a PNG file to surfaces like cloth and fur in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get right into it. It's going to be super easy. You're not even going to sweat this time. All right, so we have our shot here and we're just going to track text uh, right here on his back. I'm going to hit click on media in one and I'm going to put a color corrector. This isn't a required step. I'm just doing this because the shot is a little dark. All right, this should be good. All right, so go ahead and click on whatever previous node you have and add a surface tracker okay all right click on the surface tracker and you're just gonna go ahead and draw where you want to track kind of go with the shape too, whatever you're doing it with there we go beautiful beautiful and then you're gonna come over here click track um, you could do faster or better better just takes more computing power and then go ahead and just drag to the front of your clip and click here track forwards I'm gonna track we're gonna wait okay cool it tracked now you're gonna drag to the beginning just click an empty space drag in some text and go ahead and connect it right here and you're gonna type whatever you want. I have a I have a thumbnail to make, so I'm gonna do surface tracker, and I'll put it like this, so it matches the shape I already made. And I'm gonna change the font. Let's go here, and then you can go ahead and change your your tracking and your line spacing. Uh, obviously, it's whatever you want. I'm gonna drag the size up. Take advantage of all the space I just tracked. Um, and then you're going to go to surface tracker and then go to result, go to compositing, click this drop down, composite type and click soft light. And you can see what it did and it made it a lot more believable that this was on this, that this is on this guy's shirt. Cause if not, it would have looked, uh, just stupid. Now after that, go ahead and click this drop down and where it says positioning, Click that drop down, click sliders, and then right here you can kind of adjust, uh, really fine tune, you know, your text. Yeah, you could do a lot there, and then there's keyframes, so you could do uh, animations if you'd like. Um, let's see, let's watch what we have so far. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. If the track isn't as good as you'd like, go ahead and track again, but instead, uh, do better instead of faster. And if you want to kind of mess with how this looks more in a uh, like a color grading type of lens then you can click on text then click color corrector and then you can adjust the gain and stuff and how bright it is and whatnot we're gonna do that I'm just gonna make it a little bit brighter and with this selected you can also go ahead and add a blur because you want it to look kind of realistic if you're doing this like this looks a little fake you're gonna put up the blur size to match, obviously, the resolution of your footage. All right, zoom out. And as you can see, if we look at this here, it literally looks like uh, this is on this guy's shirt. It's nice and blended in to the surface. And then let me show you this clip I did with this uh, deer. <laughs> I'm not good with animals, I'm not good. Uh, go to Fusion, I'm in color, and let's play it let's let that load and you can see how good that looks I mean it looks like it's spray painted on his spur it'll move uh, it'll move with the textures of whatever you put it on as long as you add that soft light and I did the same things text color corrector blur surface tracker my uh, initial color corrector with that being said thank you for watching this video I hope you found it helpful I will see you in the next one